Hey. The topic I am going to discuss is introduction to biostatistics. Statistics. Statistics is a branch of mathematics that deals with collecting, analyzing, and interpreting data. It involves the use of mathematical models and methods to summarize, describe, and make inferences and predictions about a set of observations or a population. Biostatistics Biostatistics is a subfield of statistics that applies statistical methods to the study of biological and medical problems. It involves the design of experiments, collection, and analysis of data, and interpretation of results in the context of biological and medical research. Biostatisticians work closely with biologists, medical researchers, and epidemiologists to design studies, analyze data, and test hypotheses about the causes of diseases, the effectiveness of treatments, and the relationship between lifestyle, environmental factors, and health outcomes. Some of the common applications of biostatistics includes Clinical trials Biostatistics is used to design and analyze clinical trials to evaluate the safety and efficacy of new medical treatments and interventions. Epidemiology Biostatistics is used to study the distribution and determinants of diseases in populations, to understand the relationship between exposure to risk factors and disease outcomes, and to evaluate the effectiveness of preventive and control measures. Genomics and Bioinformatics Biostatistics is used in the analysis of large genomic data sets to identify genetic variations associated with diseases and to understand the role of genes in disease processes. Environmental Health Biostatistics is used to study the relationship between environmental exposure to pollutants and the health outcomes. Public Health Biostatistics is used to design and analyze surveys, to monitor health outcomes and to evaluate public health interventions. Data and variables. Data refers to information or facts that are used for analysis, interpretation, or making decisions. Data can come in many forms, such as numerical values, text, images, or sound, and can be collected from a variety of sources such as surveys, experiments, records, or observations. Variables refer to characteristics or features of the data that can be measured and recorded. In statistics, Variables are used to describe and analyze the data collected. For example, in a study of height and weight of individuals, the data would be the height and weight measurements for each individual, and the variables would be height and weight. The variables allow for the data to be organized and analyzed in meaningful ways. Variables can be of two types. Categorical variables, and numerical variables. Categorical variables. These are variables that can be divided into categories or groups. Examples include gender, male, female, hair color, black, brown, blonde, red, etc. Or type of food, pizza, burger, salad, etc. Numerical variables. These are variables that represent numerical values, numbers, and can be either continuous or discrete. Continuous variables. Continuous variables are numerical values that can have an infinite number of values within a certain range. Think of it like a ruler, where the ruler represents the range of possible values and the marking on the ruler represents the specific value. For example, consider the height of a person. A person's height can be any value between 4 feet and 8 feet, with an infinite number of possible values in between. So, if we take the height range as the ruler, the height of a particular person can be any point on the ruler within the 4 to 8 feet range. Continuous variables are often used to represent measurements such as time, weight, temperature, and length. These measurements are usually represented on a scale, such as the Celsius scale for temperature or the metric system for length. Discrete variables Discrete variables are numerical values that can only take on specific, whole numbers within a certain range. Unlike continuous variables, which can have an infinite number of values, discrete variables have a limited number of possible values. For example, consider the number of children in a family. The number of children in a family can only be a whole number, such as 0123, and so on. 
there is a finite number of possible values, and each value represents a specific count of children. Discrete variables are often used to represent countable information, such as the number of items sold, the number of customers who visited a store, or the number of votes cast in an election. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like. Subscribe for more videos and also share with all your pharma mates.